Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful retro romantic bracelet. It's easy to make and when I show you how to make this element you could use it in different projects, in necklaces, in bracelets, in earrings and even as a ring, whatever you like and it's easy to make, it's done only out of seed beads so I'm sure you will be able to make it with my step-by-step -step instructions. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads, this golden and this dark rainbow color. And here I use a magnetic clasp and this is Nemo beading thread that is 0.2 millimeters and this is size D. And here I have size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about three feet of thread on my needle, which is about 90 centimeters. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. And now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 16 beads, 12 dark and four of this beautiful golden color. And I will alternate them like this. Three of this beautiful dark color, one golden, three darks, one golden, three dark beads, one golden, and three darks, one golden. Okay guys, and now this is what I have on my needle. If you want, pause this video, pick this up and we will continue. Okay, now I'm sliding those beads down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a loop and a knot. First I make a loop and I go with my tail thread once and then a second time through this loop and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot and pull again okay and now guys i have this okay then in my next step i want to exit through one of my golden beads okay i have this and i'm going to pick up seven golden beads Okay guys, and here what I have are seven beads on my needle and I will go back in circle through this golden here. Okay, just like this, going through this golden. And in my next step, I'm going through two of the dark beads. Okay, like this. I'm taking three dark beads, okay, three of them, and I'm going back in circle through this middle dark bead. And I have a beautiful loop here, you see. Then I'm going through the next dark and to the, through the golden. My goal is to exit out of the next golden. Okay, and now what I need are seven golden beads. Okay, and now I have my seven beads here. And I will go back in circle through this golden. And if you can, in one movement, go through the middle of these three dark beads. Okay. Now I have this and I'm going to take three more dark beads, okay, like this, 
go back through this one and through the following golden okay this is the same thing I'm doing here seven goldens okay seven go back okay and I will continue this until the end of this row okay and now I have this and now guys what I want to do next is exit out of this bead that's sticking out the most here this dark bead and what I want to take are three golden beads okay and I'm going back in circle like this then guys it's easier for me to flip my work because I'm right-handed and I prefer to work in this direction counterclockwise okay then I'm going through this bead to the center of my work and through the following dark and what I do here is that I go through this two goldens to the outside edge of my work okay now I'm here I'm taking just one dark bead and I'm going here in the same place through these two goldens that are just next to my center okay you see in my next step I'm going through this one through the following and exit here at the angle and I want to take three three goldens go back here two dark beads to the center two goldens to the outside edge one dark go through these two goldens in this direction Okay, like this through these two dark beads okay now I'm going to repeat the same thing take three goldens okay go back through this one here through the next two black beads to dark beads and through the next two goldens to the outside edge of my work one dark and through these two beads here okay and I'm going to repeat this here and here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and I'm adding here my last dark bead from this row and what I'm going to do next is go here through these dark beads in this direction also here through this one now I want to go through this golden from the center to the outside edge Okay, now I'm going to take five dark beads. Ok, 
okay, five. I have my five here. And I'm going here through this bit that's sticking out the most, the so-called angle bit. Okay. Then I take five more. Okay. And I go through this golden and through this one that's just underneath. Okay, five. Then I'm going through this golden from the center to the outside edge. Take five. Okay, five. And go through this bead here that's sticking out the most. Okay. Five again. Okay. Go through this one and through the black that's underneath. And I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and repeat the same steps from the other side of your work, okay? Now, I will do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last five beads here from this row. Okay, now I have this and I will make an additional step because I want to form the edge of my work. Okay, here I'm going through two beads, first two of five skipping the third one and going through the fourth and the fifth okay now i have an angle here go through two skip the next one that's on my way go through the following two beads okay now i have this and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and I'm here at my last edge. I'm forming my last edge here. I went around through all of my elements and now guys because this is the first element of my bracelet I'm going to show you how to attach a clasp to it. I'm exiting here through this golden bead like this and what I want to do is take my clasp like this okay I have my clasp here and I'm going to take two dark beads then I'm going to take my clasp and two more dark beads and I'm going back through this golden here. In this way my clasp is attached but I need to reinforce this joint and make a knot. Okay. That is why I will go around through all of those beads several more times. Two or three times or as many times as I can. And when I'm ready, I will find a place to make a knot. I will make my knot, let's say here in the center of my work. Okay, I will make here a loop and I will go once, then I will go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I'm going through the following seed bead. Okay, going through the following. And you could make more and more knots and when you make your last knot go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and remember 
never cut next to a knot okay and now the first element of my bracelet is ready with the clasp attached and I will make one more element like this but I won't cut my thread and I will show you how to connect this one to, to the following okay guys and I just did another element like this one off camera if you forgot how I did it rewind the video and repeat the steps okay and now I'm going to show you how to connect this element to the first one okay and as I'm exiting from this angle bit I'm taking one golden bead on my needle and what I do is that I go back in circle go back through the following uh, angle bead and then take another golden and then go back in circle through the first through the first angle bead that I've, be, I've been through okay and when I pull you see what I have I have this beautiful loop with two goldens in the middle when I pull I have this and I want to reinforce this joint here by going around several times at least two times and after I do this I want to go to, to this angle here and I'm doing this by going through all of those beads in this direction exit here at the angle okay like this then take just one golden go back through this one here and pull one more golden go back through this one here and make the same loop like I did before reinforce then find a place to make a knot Okay, let's say I will make a knot here I'm making a loop I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I made and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead like I did before and I cut my thread And the second element of my bracelet is ready and I will repeat this process let's say four or five or six more times depending on the wrist I want to use it for and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when I added four more elements this is what I have I just attached the sixth element of my bracelet here and what I want to do is go through all of those beads and attach my clasp and this is the way I'm going to finish my bracelet okay now after the reinforcement what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction And I'm exiting here at the edge and I'm going to do the same thing that I showed you before okay two beads a clasp and two beads this is what I have go back in circle through this one reinforce
Okay guys, and here I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going once, going second time through this loop I made and I pull and I could repeat this knot several times and I'm going then through the following C bead and I'm cutting my thread and now guys my retro bracelet is ready okay guys and now my retro romantic bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button because sometimes i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done and in this way you will be notified and will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.